Hey everyone, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehre Bagga and I'll be playing again the five minute blitz today on Lee Chess. So let's get started. We'll play the London here. So d4, followed by d5, knight f3, bishop goes to f4, standard London opening, and then pawn to e3, the other pawn on c3, and then developing the knight to d2. And light square bishop on d3. Now that the setup is done, we can castle uh, or we can just start off attacking. So I prefer attacking here. I can still push the pawn forward. It is allowing me to trade, so I will take. He takes back. Uh, I take the rook. He cannot castle on the king side now that the rook is gone. He can pin the knight. He can get back the bishop on c2. Now I can give a check from A4 as well. He has though created some weakness over here, but I don't have queen aligned up. Can I ignore the threat and take the queen? I can definitely win some of the piece there. Or let's play safe. I just get back the bishop. keeps pushing the pawn forward now I can probably get my queen on yeah definitely now pushes the pawn forward you can take on the pawn with a knight b5 g5 will be hanging He opened up his king side too early. Yep, let's give a check. So his castling is gone for the game. Now how do we start opening up? Yep, let's move b3 here. I can take. He takes back. Let's push the pawn forward. Open up the B file. Okay, I'll take. He takes back with the pawn. I take the rook. I'm okay to exchange the bishops here. That's a force exchange. If he doesn't, I can of course take. So yeah, let's take. Now a good access here to the h7, threatening couple of pieces. Let's see how he responds. All my pieces can retrieve. There is an option. But for the time being, a uh, couple of pieces are hanging so we can save only one, I believe. Yep, the bishop goes. It's good, of an, good enough of initiative that I have. Now the plan would be to come to the e4 and trade off the queens if possible. That will be completely winning. Okay, knight can hop in on h4 and then attacking the knight. Yeah, that makes sense. Defense the g2 as well. So the knight is 
pretty good there. Yeah, let's create some pressure on the knight. He takes on the pawn, but that's all he can do there. I'll take the knight, which he takes back. How about bishop on h4? Yeah, looks good to me. The knight can, of course, stop the check. Can even move the king up. Moving the king makes more sense. Of course, you cannot uh, go for a draw situation here by moving his queen to f3 because it's guarded with the knight on d2. So now I'll be taking on the knight. You can do with. Let's take on the knight first. You can take another pawn. Can get over ambitious and give a check from here, and but the queen is attacking backwards, so need to keep track of everything. The bishop is also hanging, so queen takes on the pawn makes more sense here. Defending the bishop, defending the threat on f3. Now here I can take with the knight. I could have taken with the queen as well and traded off the queens. Okay, he's trying to take some initiative. Can take on the pawn. We'll continue with the attack now. Queen to d7. Queen to c8. And now bishop comes into the attack to d8. What is the mating sequence here? I'll give some checks first and see. Check from c5. c6. The bishop is now coming. I'm giving a check from the other file. Check from the bishop, bishop b6, and now check and take off the queen. And he resigns. So a quick game. I took my time in the later half of the game. But yeah, was completely in my favor, I believe. We'll check the analysis once. Playing London is always a good option. It's very solid. Uh, Generally, the threats in London are when your queen, opponent's queen, comes to uh, b6 and then attempt, uh, attacking your b2 square. But that didn't happen in this game. Uh, let's go back to the game once. And nice quickly, b4. Turn this off. Knight c6, bishop to f4, developing your minor pieces quickly and then uh, e3 uh, so the bishop gets still up first and then closing the diagonal of the bishop by moving e3 uh, strengthening the center as well and then the pawn to c3 solidifying the center further then knight comes to d2 and then bishop to d3 so this uh, is very standard opening you can it is pretty much safe you can follow it uh, up to here at least here the option was the multiple options i went with the computer line which is uh, the edge for here I'm trying to take the space on the king side as early as possible since his minor pieces are yet to be developed uh, his bishop has to come on uh, b2 here at b7 attacking the long diagonal in case i castle 
but that was never the plan because I've started moving the edge pawn. The idea was to push the G as well if he tries to fend it by moving the H5, which he didn't in the game. So yeah, pushing the pawn forward to H5 here. Uh, he didn't bother about the attack, and so I continue with it. He takes, I take on the rook, uh, taking away the king side, casting from his side as well. Now attacking the knight. He is attacking my bishop. I retrieve it. C2. Nice to pick up with the bishop. Bishop goes back one step. Then again the same. Bishop to g3. After knight h6 here. King goes to uh, b1. Uh, the idea is to attack the king and take away the castle from him. Which I do. And here I try to break the situation by moving the pawn to b3. Uh, he didn't capture it, so I went for the capture. He takes back with the center pawn. Generally, you have to take with the b pawn and keeping the control of the center. That's what even I think computer would be suggesting. Uh, yep, take with the b5 pawn, but he takes with the center pawn. Here I move the pawn to a4. Uh, he didn't go for the exchange, but tried to defend it. Uh, he didn't even move that forward, so I took the initiative of capturing it. He takes with the pawn, and the other rooks are also exchanged. And I tried to exchange the bishops. He tried again, but there's no other option. I take. And then finding the right move, uh, queen to h7, uh, forking a couple of pieces there. He saves uh, the knight. I take the bishop. Queen back to h7, trying to put it on an active square. And since he pushes the pawn forward to g4, so knight h4. Uh, and he still didn't bother about. And actually, there was no other way to defend. Uh, so I went with knight to g5, uh, g6 here, attacking the knight with a couple of pieces. Here I take on the knight, he takes back. And then, yes, rightly attacking the knight because that is only defended by king over there. So, bishop on h4. He gets the queen on h1 here. I put my uh, king on e2, which is pretty safe and secure. He pushes the pawn forward. I take the uh, knight with the queen. Of course, he can't take back. I couldn't find the right uh, reputation here of mating directly, so I went with capturing on the pawn first, pushing him away, and then capturing the other pawn, making sure the situation is completely in control. It's mate in eight from here. I took a bit longer, I believe. I don't know. So seven, six, yep, just moving pieces. And I had to give a check, but I, my point was that if he runs away on the other side of the board, I wanted to keep him into the coordinate over here itself, not letting him go beyond this. So bishop comes into the picture, attacking the king. And again, mate in three, mate in two here. Uh, I don't know, mate in two. Okay, so bishop goes here. He has only got one move, and then it's mate. Okay, I missed this part. But yeah, I was keen on taking on the queen, so that's what I did in the game, and he resigns. So yeah, that was a good game. Yep, white was completely in advantage apart from slightly 0.4 at one place, but that's like negligible. But I was in control throughout the game as we see an average centi pawn loss of 26 there. Good enough. As far as it's under 30, I'm, I'm happy with it. Of course, can improve a few things uh, like mate in two, I should have seen. But yeah, that's how things go in Blitz. Uh, so yeah, I hope you liked the video. Please do let me know your feedback and keep watching and sharing. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.